What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is the Locker Room Week 6 of the APA. The San Francisco Giantes are team building for the New York Noibats, coached by Mewtwo Fan Nate. Looking at this matchup, uh, you can see the team I'm bringing on the left over there, and you can see the team he is bringing above my head here. As you guys know, the way I like to kind of do this is to tier things a little bit by sort of what I think is likelihood of bring. This time I'm looking at top tier being things that almost certainly I think come. The second tier are things that have very notable advantages and reasons to come. The tier after that are Pokemon who have a strength that could be brought, uh, I, might not be immediately recognizable by me, but something that he might have as part of a game plan. And the bottom row are things that don't really have a significant reason that they should come, but could. I'm kind of questioning a little bit the very last one here. I, the, originally, I had Braviary at the bottom, but he is a solid base 100 speed mon, and uh, Scarf Bra Braviary does what Scarf Braviary does. Wait, he's not base speed 100, is he? Uh, did I just... Is he 80? Yeah, he's 80. Uh, so... That's sort of the thought process behind everything, like why I kind of tiered things. We'll kind of go through one at a time really quickly. Kiram B, I'm a dragon gym this uh, this draft, guys. Draft 2 is dragon draft, and Kiram B has uh, stabs that are good against everything. Obviously, he himself is weak to stabs that I'm bringing a lot, so that might deter him from actually wanting to bring Kiram, but it's still a ludicrously powerful mon. Not every dragon I have is a super fast dragon, so he might think that he could bring it for that reason. It's not a bad thing to scarf. Ordinarily, it's not amazing to scarf a Kurum, but when your stab just cuts through the entire team, it's not bad of an idea. We've got Mega Medicham with just outrageous power, and Ice Punch will do well against just about everything on the team. We've got Rabombi, Fairy type, very good against my team as well, very fast, and can set up sticky webs for those two wall breakers I just mentioned above so that they can take a speed tier advantage against a lot of my team. Then we have another Fairy type, Primarina. The issue with Primarina is quite low defense and quite low speed, so it's a little bit easier to take advantage of than it would be a Rabombi. So that's why I kind of don't think he brings the Primarina as much as I think he brings the Rabombi. He could bring both. I'm stacking one type. It's not a bad idea to stack a counter type to that. Uh, but of course, I when I'm anticipating those kind of things, I bring answers too. So he, he could bring it. There is a very pressing reason to bring it because of its typing and uh, could be very strong for that. We have the B sharp and the reason I kind of think that is of course steel type resisting dragon but more importantly because it's a notable good switch into a Lottie and Latios being one of the stronger members of the squad one of the higher tiers of the squad and a more likely bring he might want to have an answer for it Blacephalon just because it's very powerful uh, 107 speed outspeeds quite a lot of my team uh, looking at my speed creep calcs it basically outspeeds everything except Latios and anything that might be Scarf. It would be a decent idea to Scarf it, but I do have answers for it. So even though it's like not an amazing type advantage against the team in general, uh, Fire being resisted by most Dragon types and Shadow Ball me having answers to, it's still ludicrously powerful and can just go one for one potentially if it gets the opportunity. Mesprit, Electros, and Rhydon all kind of fit the bill as they'll bring something. Um, they're mons who can take a hit, dish a hit, and maybe they can set up stealth rocks or gain momentum with U-turn. They have utility that could be useful, and if he kind of wants to pack a spot with a utility mon they have more utility than the six mon above so it would be really surprising to me if the six mon he brings are the top six pokemon that i have listed but all of those six above them have more offensive and or defensive type advantages that would lend itself to the matchup i just don't think all six of them come because then he wouldn't have rocks he wouldn't have very much momentum any momentum no robombi could learn u-turn but very little momentum. And so I don't know that I think he brings that. Rhydon would be a bring if he wanted a stealth rocker that could also handle 
the physical threats that I could possibly bring. Like if he thought I was bringing Salamence or something like that, that would be the reason for that. Electros just because, I mean, I don't have like a Tetra Vault or Mold Breaker Pokemon. So there's not really any re way for me to take advantage of its uh, its typing weaknesses just because it's got Levitate. So it, it's just going to have to, it's going to eat a hit. It's going to give a hit. He can use that for momentum. He can use that for utility, like getting a knockoff. Uh, getting a toxic it's a decent av -er, so he could make it his initial switch into something like aladi or dragalzi or something like that just to kind of eat a hit and then exchange a hit or remove an item or something like that mesprit of course uh, the ability to do just about anything decent defenses stealth rock u-turn or healing wish anything like that all possibilities Serena maybe should be the last place one um, because Braviary, I still don't think, uh, given what he's got access to for this matchup, I don't really see why he would bring Braviary, but again, scarfing it um, would allow him to outspeed a decent member, no, my entire squad. He would outspeed my entire squad and he would speed tie with Ditto because I have elected not to scarf anything else on the squad. A lot of the mons on this squad do have... No, not a lot of them. Two of them have Dragon Dance. So, looking at this, um, the team I've brought doesn't necessarily have a good answer to Scarfed Brave Bird, but Scarfed Brave Bird's not super likely to pick up an Oko on everything. It probably would for um, Komo'o. But other than that, it's not incredibly likely to do that. And so a lot of the mons might even be able to pop off a... A dragon dance and maybe outspeed after uh, for example the um komo'o which probably wouldn't survive one i am curious it is pretty defensive but i don't think it would uh would then outspeed it because base speed 85 so not that there's zero reason to bring it but it doesn't fit a purpose outside of just being a fast mon and he can do that with anything he can choose a fast mon anywhere on his squad if he wanted to uh, but just looking at it if he wanted a scarf brave birder uh, there it is. If America does come, I'm positive it's scarfed. There's really no reason not to do it. Um, if the Blacephalon comes and the Braviary comes, probably the Blacephalon is Z and the Braviary is scarfed. Uh, and if the Braviary doesn't come and Blacephalon does, I think the Blacephalon's scarfed. That's just like throwing out initial instincts based on what he sees on my team and what it could do. Because the Blacephalon... Uh, doesn't necessarily need to be scarfed simply because it outspeeds everything but Latios. But <laughs> sometimes you you got to get worried that a Pokemon that frail won't just get instantly countered by uh, something that is scarfed. And he's in big trouble if he gets like a couple of plus ones on that thing and then I, and he's not scarfed and I come in with Ditto. He's in big, big trouble. Also, it would be a, a risk for him to be scarfed. Not saying it's impossible, but if he were to confirm Scarf Blacephalon and he locks himself into Shadow Ball, I, of course, have uh, Bulletproof Komo'o. And that's a free Dragon Dance and possibly the game because his fastest Pokemon is outsped when I'm at plus one. That's Rabombi. Uh, hits max speed 193, and I have set my speed tiers that I hit um, one. What is it? 135, uh, which will scarf up to I think. Okay, my my math numbers are off right now. I guess I could pull it up, and you guys can see because I have it on the screen. Nope, you can't. It's just barely off. Uh, 135 times 1.5. Yeah, 202. 202. So it will outspeed. Uh, it also outspeeds. I also made it that the uh, the base speed will outspeed Mesper. So at plus one, I'll also do that. So that's the reason behind uh, a lot of that. Uh, and I also spoiled one of my sets. Why am I? I'm talking so much about this without just showing you the team. Uh, the blue one, Strife, Bro, Moo, Poisony Boy, Curum, and Remix. Remix, of course, the standard choice scarf set. I'm not going anywhere crazy with this one. Um, and it's uh, HP rock if i were to switch in and the reason for that being his most likely um hidden power -er mons would be something like the blacephalon uh, because its coverage is not great 
and the Rabombi, and Hidden Power Rock is good against both of them. So that's that was the reason behind going Remix uh, Hidden Power Rock. Moving on to Curum, it's an Assault Vest set again. It's Dragon Pulse, Ice Beam, Earth Power, Shadow Ball. Uh, that's just coverage for just about everything. Uh, if Basically, the idea is I want to click Stab no matter what, uh, but if he's if I need to predict a switch or if it's uh, if it's a mon that would resist both of those things, it won't resist both Earth Power and Shadow Ball as well. So that was the reason behind that. The HP investment is so that I can survive a three hit KO from a uh, from a Rabombi's Moonblast. Uh, so that way I could switch into it, take a hit, if it goes Moonblast right away, and then I could uh, pop off an Ice Beam and survive another one. So that was the reason behind that. Guaranteed 3-hit KO. Uh, I don't know that I survive a 3-hit KO. Sorry, that would mean it's a 4-hit KO. No. Uh, he will 3-hit KO me, he will not 2-hit KO me. That's the reason for that. Poisony Boy is another Rabombi answer. It's also a Primarina answer. Primarina can learn Psychic, and that would, of course, kind of mix things up. Actually, also the Rabombi can, but I mean, what are you gonna do, right? So it's it's probably my best answer for those two mons. So Poisony Boy, of course, resisting uh, the Poison type allows me to go neutral against Fairy. So it's a good switch into the fairy type mons. It has naturally high special defense anyway. And then uh, poison barb to increase the power of sludge wave a little bit. Considered some berries that I could go here, but uh, it, not that it's too late. I mean, I, could, I might have the psychic resist berry somewhere on my, uh, just in my items list, but uh, I don't think I'm gonna switch it just because I like the idea of having the poison barb. Um, I can, I like the idea of Dragology as a, as a lead, because if it goes up against the Rabombi, I can right away go for a Sludge Wave, break that potential Sash, or I could exchange a, to a Toxic Spikes with it. Sludge Wave Draco Meteor just for hardest hitting that I've got access to, and then Surf after that. Uh, reasons I might not lead Dragology, um... Curum B and Mega Metacham could also just come out right out the gate and just try and claim one really early. I need to stop my phone from making noise. I've been getting so many robocalls, and I know I'm not unique, I know everybody's having issues with it right now. But damn, they need to they really need to calm down. Uh, so I kinda need to. It's something I think I should decide right away. If Rabombi comes, it's a likely lead. However, if also the two powerhouses come, their speed tier is not bad. Like the only things that outspeed uh, Kurum Black, it speed ties with a max speed Kurum, uh, but there's not really a reason for me to lead Kurum. Uh, and it is outsped by Flygon, Salamence, and Latios. And I don't, I only have Latios. So Latios is a possible initial lead mon there. But it's risky, you know, and especially because Mega Metacham could pack the fake out and I just take uh, an unnecessary initial damage. It's hard to think about. I could also do the Ditto as an initial lead because that way if I'm a Scarfed Cure in Black, that would be great. Uh, if not, and I am the Rabombi, I could see what it's packing, uh, see whether or not it has Psychic. If it doesn't, then of course your Galaxy is an amazing switch in for it. I could break it Sash, then get out of there. If it has U-Turn, even better. Instantly break it Sash, or if it switches out to Preserve it Sash, then I got something else. So uh, that's thought behind Poisony Boy. Bromo O, uh, Drain Punch, Outrage, Poison Jab, Dragon Dance with Poisonium Z, and Bulletproof. Uh, max speed, 137 speed. That's not right. I actually did change it um, because I built on my phone. Uh, and then I swapped over. So uh, I would need to open up uh, Discord, which I'm not going to do, but uh, that would show what the set is. But I did lower the speed a little bit and end up, I think it's something like 56 maybe that I put in here. Yeah, so uh, I hit, I guess I hit 131 is the speed. Yeah. 131. Okay, which is not great actually. Now that I realize it, that means Mesprit and Mesprit and Braviary both outspeed it. So that was a little bit of a. Did is that right? Did I really do that? I'm wondering. It's 
36, 36 sounds more right. 133 sounds right. I think that's actually what I did. I think that's what I did. Um, so let's assume that's it. That looks right. That looks like what my thinking would have been. And I'm pretty sure I did the exact same thing on Strife, who was also a Dragon Dance set. Dragon Dance, Roost, Earthquake, Double Edge. Reason for Double Edge is I just didn't have the time to uh, spam its happiness. And so Return wouldn't have worked. Facade was a massive letdown for me last week. Like, huge letdown. Uh, one that possibly cost me the game. Hard to say exactly, but it, it forced me to give up uh, one of my Dragon Dancers who could have easily taken a hit and gotten to plus one. Uh, and one that would have taken on 1v1, the Clefable. So it would have put me in a really good spot. And just, it's super unfortunate the way that turned out. What are you going to do? Uh, so... That's what I get for running facade, so not doing that this week, going with the double edge and Earthquake will resist anything that uh, or will hit super effective the mons that resist it, uh, which would be the Bisharp and the Blacephalon. Yes, those two things only. Uh, and the reason, obviously, Poisonium Z Poison Jab would be because it will take out the fairy types who resist my two stabs and roost here just because I didn't really need another move other than those two. And also I did I did the same thing with this uh, boy's speed. Actually, no, I just, uh, I just maxed it. I didn't change that one. And then finally, the blue one, Colberberry, Draco, Meteor, Psy Shock, Hidden Power Fighting, Defog, Stabs or Stabs, and Hidden Power Fighting uh, is quad effective against the Bisharp. I will outspeed the Bisharp. Colberberry means I will easily survive a Sucker Punch from the Bisharp and uh, defogger so that even if I were to boost the power of the Bisharp Sucker Punch, I should still be able to survive it with the Colber Berry, knock it out with the Hidden Power Fighting unless he's a berry himself. You know, he could have that. Max speed, just because it's really important that I outspeed um, everything up to the Blacephalon. I could have taken out a point or two and I think I probably did. Again, um, didn't build the team on my computer, just kind of quickly dragged over one of the drafts that I had copied over. And so this is not, the EVs are not exact to what I ended up bringing. I did adjust my speed creeps a little bit there. So that's uh, that's the whole team. Guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.